Hello viewers, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn few DAX aggregate functions. So DAX aggregate functions are like mean, max, average, count, sum and their um, expression version of the functions like uh, mean x, max x, average x, sum x, count x. Okay. Now, first, uh, first of all, what is aggregate functions? So, it exactly uh, operates as their name, aggregate. So, it aggregates the column value or this couple of columns uh, value from the table and then um, returns the single value. Okay. So, let me open the Power BI and I can show you how to use them. So, now as you can see that I have a couple of tables here. And I have a couple of um, card visual as well. I just put it on the report page, page so we can straight away use it. Um, they are empty right now. Uh, now uh, I have a couple of um, functions already here because they are simple enough and the function like sum we already used many times in previous videos. So I'm going to use it. So these functions are simple and let me just... Uh, show you again so some function i'm using here now in a bracket as you can see here in a blue text it's only looking for a column name so let's say i wanted to sum up my sales amount from the sales table then i just need to give that so my sales table and then sales amount column my table name and my column name okay and just close the bracket and enter Okay, so I'm going to use that in on this card. So sum. So that is our um, sum of the sales um, amount. Now um, I have a sum x here as well. Now as I mentioned that all the um, expression versions, they uh, allows to use an expression. So in this case, you can see my uh, my measure name is sum x. And then I'm using sum x function and it takes, let me uh, show you again. So it takes table in a bracket. It is looking for a table first. So here in blue text table. So I'm going to use a sales table, then comma. And now it is looking for a expression. Expression meaning whatever uh, you wanted to like subtract or sum or anything from other columns then you can give it here so in this case uh, we can use it like my uh, sales amount is there so uh, I can use a straight away in there square bracket my sales amount and then I can subtract it uh, from uh, from the sales amount I wanted to uh, subtract the return amount okay so for example this kind of expression it allows this x version of the function that's what i call uh, that x is stand for, stands for expression so enter it i'm going to use it on this visual on this card so this is our uh, our sum of uh, expression so you can see here our total sum or sales amount sum is 8.34 billion and here is 8 billion which make a sense because we we must subtract the return amount right so that is that now um, I just wanted to show you the max function so it is similar as the sum function it only takes the column in um, in it so uh, here I use a product and then unit cost and so it's going to do uh, uh, show me the max of the unit cost a column so this is the maximum value in that column so that is that. Now I'm going to um, show you the max x. So same as the sum x, in this case, it's going to give a maximum value of this expression, which is sales amount minus discount amount. So let me uh, visualize that number as well. So that is max x. So this way you can carry out mean uh, and mean x as well. Now the max function uh, is, uh, it does not support the Boolean data type. 
uh, but it supports the text data type. So you can use a, a text value uh, like in this case we have a product category. So let's say whatever the pro if we use this column then whatever, whatever the product category has the longest name it, it's going to show that max. Now um, the max x uh, that uh, if you have a blanks in a column that 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 gonna to skip that and max x as well does not support the boolean data type now let's see the average and average x so average let me put it again the sales um, amount and then close the bracket it only needs a column so this is our average sales amount 3.65 thousand now in case of average if you have a text in a column it does not accept it it only accept the numeric value and if you have a logical value or empty cells then it's going to ignore that uh, let's try uh, to create another measure average x and my column name is average x or my measure name and average x and a, I need to give a table name so I'm going to use again a sales table and comma and my expression is a column sales amount say minus and discount yeah discount amount so I'm going to subtracting a discount amount from the sales amount so first I gave my table name comma and then expression in this expression you can use anything of your choice I'm going to use average x in this uh, card so average x is 3.6k okay which which make a sense because we subtract the discount so compared to the regular average function it should give little less so that is that now we are going to learn about count and count x so let's create another measure and my measure name is count now count and um, count uh, count x they um, they accept the non blank uh, numeric date or text value so count and to um, to check that I have a column in a stores table so let me pull that so, so stores and then employee count because I have a one row does one row is uh, it has a blank value in that so let's try that M and I'm going to visualize it so yes 305 now if we go back to the table view and if we check the stores table uh, then you will see here we have three, 306 rows where our count shows 305 because I know that that column has a one blank cell and that's why it shows so count does not take a blanks and um, it can take a number it can take date and it can take a text okay now let's quickly create the count x measure as well and my measure name is count x m and count x and it looking for a table so stores comma an expression our expression I'm going to use um, employee count again employee count let's say um, multiply by one okay just that and I'm going to visualize here count x and as you can see that we have both numbers same so uh, you wonder that why do I need to use x uh, instead of count uh, count okay so the beauty of the count um, x uh, because it allows the expression so you can uh, use it for example let's say I use maybe rather than a straight away my stores table if I use a filter function uh, then filter function also looking for a table name so I'm going to use the same table store uh, stores and then um, it looking for a filter expression so if I say um, in that stores I have a store type so if I say let's say my uh, store type yeah if I say my store type is equal to 
uh, in double quote I have one category online in that so if I use that and it is not case sensitive um, so I use uh, instead of the uh, straight away table I use the filter table with, with the condition like filter um, function and with condition and then let me put it now again to that employee count as our part of count x column then uh, and enter it and let's see what happens and so now it shows me a 3 meaning if you couple this count x um, function with the filter function then filter function allows you to put it the condition so here our condition is my store type should be only online and what is the, in this count in this employee count then then it shows me three rows just a three if we go back to the table and let's see again that stores um, table so in a stores table uh, what we are looking for employee count and my store type should be online so if I select only online and click OK there you can see we have only three rows so that is what uh, the difference between count and count x you can use count x with the other function and utilize it so this is all in this uh, video guys about aggregate function um, if you like the video then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching